Hey guys, how's it going? Nick here, back with another video. And normally when things come in the mail, I just sort of open them straight away and figure out whether or not I'm gonna do a video on it after I've opened it. But I know exactly what this is. I've been super pumped to get my hands on it. And so thought I'd unbox it on camera and you know, give you a first look at what it is. Uh, I'd say drop a comment on what you think it is, but you've clicked on the video, you know what it is. So let's just cut this bad boy open. Whoa, how's the dodgy packing on that? Bloody peanuts coming out everywhere. Jesus. Oh, oh shit. Way more than I thought there was gonna be. The new Nikon Nikkor Z Lens 24-70 f2.8. Can't believe I have this right now. So if you've been following the channel for a while, you know I've gone through a few different cameras and quite a few different lenses trying to figure out, you know, you've got to figure out what works for you, whether it's primes or zooms or, you know, you've got to go on your own journey to figure it out. But these pro zoom lenses, whether that would be the Sony G Master or the Canon L series, have I've always felt been priced, just they're, they're expensive, right? It's about $3,000 across the board, give or take. Let's not get too picky. And I was always just never thought I could get one, but I've invested in one now and um, I'm pretty keen to, to open it and get going because I've been shooting on the F4 24 to 70 for a while now. So at the top, we have the lens hood, you know, it's a lens hood. And we have a little pouch. Who uses them? Warranty, that's important. That is very important. Then we got a user manual, just in case you don't know how to use a lens. And then we lift that up. Ooh, cardboard for days. And then here we have it. Ooh, it is nice and weighty, but not super, super weighty. Oh, I'm gonna fix that, one second. And here it is guys, the Nikon 24-70 f2.8 for the Z series lenses. And oh, it feels good. It feels really good to have it in the hand. It is a very minimal design, like unlike the L series lenses, which have like the red ring, which sing, you know everyone seems to want, or the G series, which which have the orange G or the red G, or they have a G on it to symbolize this. However, nothing it has a little S, but other than that, it's very minimal, nice black lens. You have your zoom ring, which is really well dampened goes from 24 to 70. Then you have your focus ring, which is very stiff, probably a good thing at the top. And then you have a control ring down the bottom, which can be adjusted to do whatever you feel is better suited, whether that's aperture, ISO, that sort of stuff. And then you have different buttons on the side here. So you have a function button, then you have a display button to turn on the LED display. I had something like that on my Bardis lenses back when I had the Sony a7 III and I didn't really use it that much, but when doing astrophotography or night photography, it's really good to be able to see that because you don't really want the back LCD on just because of light pollution and all that sort of stuff. So it was really nice just to be able to go off what was on the L LCD at the top there in terms of focus distance. Uh, doesn't seem to be a lock for the zoom. That's a shame, but other than that, you know, really nice 80, two millimeter filter thread there at the front. Overall, really oh, so nice to have on. Oh, it just looks so nice. Fully weather sealed, professional lens. What I might do is quickly swap out. So we're currently on the 24 to 70 F4 and we're gonna switch now. So now we are on the 24 to 70 F2.8, I mean, <laughs> It should look more or less the same considering there's nothing in behind me. So it's not really gonna have a depth of field and I am shooting at 24 millimeters. But holy crap, does it suit this body really, really well. And what's funny is that it is more or less the same size as the F4 24 to 70. Obviously it's a bit heavier because it 
it's wider. It's not a, obviously it's a bit fatter and heavier because it's wider, but in terms of length from mount to, you know, filter thread, it is pretty much, it's maybe like a centimeter longer, which is really good. And that's because obviously this packs up into the travel size, but you have to extend it to that point. And I kind of liked that at first, but I tell you what, when you're going out shooting and you really want to get the shot really, really quickly, it is a hell of a pain to obviously have it in this mode, turn your camera on and it comes on with a silly warning saying, blah, 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 make sure you extend the zoom. So you got to do that every time. But then, I don't know, it's just, it's cool because it obviously makes it more compact, but it doesn't make it that much com more compact, right? So yeah, there you have it guys. Just a quick unboxing of the new 24 to 70 F2.8 first look. Really keen to put it through its paces. If there's any specific tests you want for this lens, you gotta drop a comment down below so I know exactly what you're after, whether that's photography test, video test, bokeh test. Everyone's obsessed with bokeh. Um, yeah, uh, if you enjoyed this video guys, that thumbs up button. Subscribe if you wanna see more videos, you know, the spiel. And uh, yeah, until the next video guys. See ya.